That was crazy. I don't know whether you want to play again or not, but uh, I could probably play one more game and then I should go do some things. But uh, kind of, kind of want to play again. It's pretty, pretty sick stuff. Whew. So we're on the draw again. Let's see if we can keep a, a less sketchy hand. This is a less sketchy hand. Um. Sorry guys, I had to answer a phone call really briefly. <sighs> Alright, so he's East tomorrow. Does he have a second land? Yes. It's a pretty good one. And he has Thalia. Alright. These are the mono white starts that are uh, often very hard to beat. So I've somehow. Well, I guess if I mana drain something, we could be in okay shape. Though if I get wastelanded, I'd probably just lose. I have to imagine. This is what I mean by, like, the format's quite spiky. Like, you know, you're op operating on very thin margins when you're playing these control decks. Imposing Sovereign, sure. Um, like, yeah, th these, these control decks are really, really stretched. Um, it's interesting, when the format was... Younger, they... Yeah, he's just animating this turn. That's so brutal. When the format was younger, they were not as good. Aggro was uh, one of the weaker things. Like, combo was really powerful. And uh, people didn't play much aggro. Please cast a spell. Oh, my God. But um, as time gone has gone on, I mean, like, this is a noticeable trend in Magic in general, but aggro's just gotten better, right? Like, and this is something that, uh, nice, this is a good pickup, that, like, many um, magic people have com have commented on, right? That the more, the farther along you go, the more powerful, aggressive magic cards seem to be getting. Um, and the same kind of thing has happened in Highlander. Like, the aggressive decks have just gone from being, like, kind of marginal to probably the best decks. Um, well, like, not the best decks necessarily, but just, like, super, super good. Like, look at this game. This game's nuts. He he just went one, two, three, four. Um, and now I'm, like, probably dead. Uh, unless I draw... Nope, that doesn't do anything. Like, I had Wrath on turn four, right? I, I mana drained to play, and I had Wrath of God on turn four, which is, like, apparently just not good enough in this format in order to beat... Uh, the aggressive strategies. So, do we have any outs? Rev for two, die. Um, cast Jace, bounce, die. Cast Jace, brainstorm, find lightning bolt, kill this, die. Yeah. We're dead. <laughs> but yeah, like, I was just on the draw. Didn't, uh, didn't establish, like, a super strong foothold in the game like I didn't have an early interactive spell or something like this this is this is gonna be probably hopefully good in this game um, and as a result just like I got totally crushed <laughs> so as as the formats gotten older people have learned more about the format um, we've sort of discovered as like control players have discovered that you just need to play you have to make concessions to the fact that like aggro isn't necessarily a great matchup anymore like I think as control players, we're so used to thinking of aggro as, uh, s like, not so much an easy matchup, but just, like, could have tried rev for one to drive bolt or, draw bolt or swords, uh, and then we, what, go to three, and then we can bolt the thing? Yeah, okay, okay, we had we had a line. You're right. That's bad on me. Um, Tesseract the Seeker is really good. But, yeah, basically, like, 
we no longer, unless your deck's playing Moat, um, and arguably this deck should be playing Moat, uh, but basically, like, Moat and, like, cards like Academy Rector are the... Well, I died to Vault Beat, but if I find Swords to Plowshares off of Rev, I can go to three and Sword slash Bolt the, uh, the thing, the Sarah Avenger, and then theoretically stabilize. We're obviously still not in great shape, even in that situation, but we're in better shape than we would otherwise be. Uh, should I play around Brave the Elements and just Lightning Bolt this Relic Seeker now? Kind of want to. Like, I, I can survive Muta Vault for one turn, but just one turn, Do if I, if I had drawn exactly that. Uh... How bad is it if he brave the elements is this lightning bolt? He gets to go fetch an equipment. Eh. I'm I'm afraid enough of something like that that I, I'm even willing to like let him get a Thalia in play, I think. Because I have this Restoration Angel as like a reasonable thing to do if he Thalias. Like as is, we're looking to get to five mana, cast Tezzeret, find um Time Vault, and then cast Ral's Eric. Okay. We're flooded on Wraths, <laughs> which, you know, this is the right matchup to be flooded on Wraths, in fairness, but we need a fourth land. <laughs> Night. This is pretty rough. Our deck plays a lot of lands, so like we're a favorite to not have this happen to us, but obviously so every now and then you just like have some bad variants. I know I, I also could have teared it for a sick sick value, but I don't actually have any other plays, so I'm not uh not going to worry about that. Um, at this point, I would probably cast a, a Wrath if I drew a land. Why am I talking about it? Um. <laughs> the time where getting Restoration Angel values would be good is decreasing evermore. Oh my goodness, the Grafted War Gear comes right after I use my Wear Tear, eh? All right, I'm I'm all in on drawing land this turn. Nice, we did it. We're gonna cast Day of Judgment here because I think it's safe to do so. There's not a white spell that regenerates all creatures, right? I can't think of anything. Okay, good. And so now, now we can look to stabilize. If he plays, so like, he can play a creature. If he plays like a one toughness creature. Yeah, like Flicker Wisp, that's fine. So Flicker Wisp. Okay, I think we have a chance here. Caracas, that's fine. So he's leaving three mana up, which means that we might well get, um, there's some cards I can't beat, like I can't beat mana tithe here, but I just have to run this out. He did have brave the elements. I had the soul read. <laughs> I wonder if he'll kill Ral's Eric. Or if he just goes for some kind of, like, if he just tries to kill me. I think the greedy play is to try and kill me. Yeah, killing Ral is probably good. I think I just have to cast Wrath this turn. I could dig through time. So I can, the, the other option is I can dig. 
looking for um, like a lightning bolt or something, some kind of card like that. But I mean, I guess I can take a turn of getting hit to try and get some value. I need to hit land drops eventually. Like I need, I need a turn where he doesn't play a thing. <sighs> Maybe Restoration Angel. Maybe this is a Restoration Angel turn, like a trade with Restoration Angel turn. What's that bad against? Removal spell. It's bad against Path Exile. Oh, it's it, actually it's Path Exile would be still be fine for us. It's bad against Swords of Plowshares. And that's about it. Um. What's Dig Through Time bad against? Dig Through Time is really horrendous. If he's playing one of the really marginal white counter spells, I don't think he is, but it's really, really marginal if he is. There's some allure to trying to set up Restoration Angel, Dak Faden, Steel Ear, Grafted War Gear. <sighs> I think I'm going to go for the Restoration Angel play. I think it's... Yeah. See you, Graham. Thanks for the games today. They were Seek. Resto. Yeah, Ben? Um, what does a sec mean? Uh, yeah, it's probably fine. Yeah. I mean, like, I have to go to Dalplex to, like, play badminton later. But, um, which is why, like, I can't pick her up. Yeah. Um, so as long as you're, like, back within, like, a reasonable, like, as long as it's actually half an hour, it's not a problem. It's pretty frustrating that he had exactly swords to plowshares against our line. I mean, like, we can't know that, right? Like, our line's good against, like, 90% of the plays that he might have and bad against exactly swords. So, I don't feel that bad about it, but... Why don't I just steal the equipment? Because I have nothing to equip it to, so it doesn't actually die. No, it doesn't die, because I, I don't have anything I can equip it to. Because the equipment stays equipped to a Flicker Wisp until, like, I now control it, but it's still equipped to the Flicker Wisp. So, yeah, you can't unequip something. I need a target to equip it to as well. Yeah, exactly. See ya. I guess this creature doesn't have flying, thus making it slightly less problematic. So I could cast Solemn Simulacrum. I have to block. Oh, is, is Solemn a legendary creature? No. Okay. Um, you can sack his creature. Like, if, if I had a creature and I stole War Gear and equipped it to something I owned, his creature would die. But I can't just, like... I, I, there's not a mode of, like, unequip sword. Like, that's not an option. 
Alright, so we're dead if he has second removal spell, but I think that I'm just fine dying to second removal spell. Like, he's already played Swords and Brave the Elements. This doesn't even lose to Brave the, Brave the Elements. Like, conceivably, he could be playing Sun Lance, I guess. Okay, it looks like we're actually going to get to block. I would like to draw a card. Four is no different from five currently, so. Oh, okay. Am I getting mind censored now? Because that would be kind of rough. No? Okay. I have a white red fetch going on, so I can get um, steam vents, I guess, is what I'm going to get. So with this, I'll get planes. Is there anything I can cast right now? No. So, oh no, no actually. This is pretty good. We're going to go to two because um, I don't think two is any different. Yeah. Two is definitely not different from four in this context. And this lets us cast Dig Through Time on end step, which is I think a big tempo swing for us. We're going to take the swords to plowshares. We don't really need cards. Like we have we have the win set up. So all we need to do is not die. Um So we have six lands, six lands. So we can go Tezzeret the Seeker, Swords your guy. And with Tezzeret, we can get Time Vault. So do we want another land? Probably not. Like, it's just a question of how slow do we play this. Yeah. If I could take a card like Force of Will, I would love to. Oh wow, that Jace is interesting too. So with Jace we could, no, no, that's getting too cute, I think. He would have cast Aven Mind Sensor if he had it already. I just like it's it's totally inconceivable for me that he like is slow rolling it this much. Just doesn't make sense. Why? Why is he only casting it now? Oh my goodness. All right, so we're dead, right? Yeah, we're just dead. <sighs> this is so frustrating. Why would he not cast it on my fetch land? And his ghost quarter. Like, surely he's giving me more outs by letting me untap with six lands. I mean, maybe this was the plan all along. So... It's not even a slow roll. It's just, like, it's a really weird line, I think. Also, it's, like, a perfect draw. Can I... So... Doesn't really matter. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't think he would ghost. There's like no prizes on the line or anything. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I guess it just has to resolve and we lose. So, like, my theory that going to 2 didn't matter is, like, mostly true. Um... Yeah, like, I think we're dead. Uh, we go, we just take lethal damage from the save a mind sensor that, like, really weirdly didn't get cast on two different search effects. <sighs> you know, like, well, but, <sighs> I don't know. I guess, I guess his theory is that this plays around Wrath better. And, like, he just wants to beat Wrath. Maybe that's the theory. But, like, both my four mana Wraths are gone. I've played them both. And, like, Mind Sensor pretty likely keeps me off of two more lands. I guess if it, like, I guess if he Mind Sensors and then it's, like, and then I still hit both times, it's, like, potentially really bad. But, yeah. Isn't worth it? I don't agree with that. I think that it's, like, certainly worth it. Like even if I miss on one of those of those things trying to find lands, I lose the game immediately. Just like based on what he's seen. Like the the only card at that point that isn't out for me is Supreme Verdict. And like so it's like one in eighty basically, and I can't cast any draw spells to get to it or anything. I don't know. Like it just like lets me cast Dig Through Time. Which or, and it just, like, gives me more chances to, like, find outs. Like, my deck is half card draw, too. Like, it's not even all... It's, like, very... There's very few tutors. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Why did you hold up the Even Mind Sensor? No, it doesn't stop Dig, but Ghost Quartering me... And letting me search, no, but ghost quartering me and then letting me search for the land without mind censoring the land searches lets me cast dig through time, right? Because it means that I have two blue sources all of a sudden. We're wondering uh, why you why you didn't cast a... Uh... Yeah, I died either way. Well, it's the only reason I am. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, if he casts Mind Sensor on my lands, then I don't necessarily die. I just, like, really had you on not having Mind Sensor. Since I thought you would have cast it on, you know, the double search effect. Yeah, the 2-1 kills me. No, 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 I know. I'm not saying that, like, like, the, the search isn't... Like, the not being able to search isn't what killed me there. What killed me there was that it was a 2-1 flash creature. I guess so. Yeah, I mean, like, obviously you won the game, so, like, your line can't be that bad. Um, I just, like, was very caught off guard by, by your having mind sensor there. It's just, like, I just wonder whether it's, like, it's too it's too fancy to, like hold on to it there and let me search up six lands um, or let, let me search up to six lands when you like potentially can cripple me back down to four like even if I untap and cast supreme verdict which is like I think my only out at that point I don't know I guess I had been like screwed for a couple turns so it's plausible my hand is full of like act well, it's like obvious my hand is full of some kind of action I guess it, it matters to you like you might not know my deck list so you can like makes it harder to to know exactly know exactly what the play is yeah man wow that was interesting okay yeah because i thought i thought it looked a little funny that you like ghost quartered me and then just let me go get a land i was like i th i thought that that meant oh he has mind sensor so when you like ghost quartered me but then didn't mind sensor me i just assume you must not have mind sensor but 
I guess because there's there's a way better argument if you just like didn't hold priority on the ghost quarter. There's a way better argument for not trying to mind censor a fetch land. Like, yeah. Oh, okay, that makes more sense then. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I think the argument of hold the flash creature back because stop like the difference between five and six. Yeah, that difference isn't as big as four and six. Like if you can potentially stop both my fetches. All right, sick. Yeah, even if cool, because especially if you miss, it's really catastrophic. I'm just like still at six lands, and uh, and your your hands all on the table. Yeah, I mean, the only way <sighs> I don't know how I could have played that turn differently. I'm sure there is a way. Yeah, there's a there's a way I can play that turn differently. So I can I have Jace the Mind Sculptor in hand, and so if I have you on having Mind Sensor. I can play Jace minus to bounce your Paladin. Uh, and I have Swords of Plowshares in hand, and I can wait. And if you don't cast Mind Sensor on end step, that's fine. I just Swords whatever you play on your turn, and then go for. And then, like, I can go for the Tezzeret play. No, I don't know. It also wouldn't have been lethal if I just hadn't been greedy and cast Dig Through Time. But uh, I think I think I needed to cast the dig through time as like a tempo move. I think if I had like I I don't think I was winning that game without digging sooner or later anyway. So, like taking the two damage. Right, but I have swords to plowshares, so I can swords I can sword your mindset your mind sensor then. Like it just means I don't die to flash creature, but I just decided I I wasn't gonna play around flash creature and, and just like just died to it. <laughs> oh well that was a really sweet game